All right, guys, the key to accuracy is consistency. The problem, though, is most marksmen only shoot from the prone. They only shoot off that same bipod. That gives them consistency. They're, they're very, very accurate. All right, um, military snipers, law enforcement snipers, they need to be able to shoot from varying heights. But if they don't practice it, they're really not going to get any good at it. The uh, reason for that is loopholes, holes in walls, windows are not always at the height that you need to have them in order to engage that target, whether it's a hostage rescue, hostage negotiation, whatever, whatever it might be. So you need to be able to uh, shoot your rifles accurately at different heights, not just your standard, I'm comfortable on a flat range height off the ground, the height of that bipod. All right, so what I've got is I've got a great training drill it's it's basically a grouping drill but what you're going to do is you're going to uh, got the, the piece of paper you put in your data book afterwards what we have is a matching target down range we're sitting at the 300 meter berm here so i've got dots down there with one inch uh, uh, markers in the center and he's basically it's going to start off he's going to confirm zero on the top left dot now if he was running a suppressor we would then do the next shot group with the suppressor. That we're confirming how much of a shift the sniper has applying or removing that suppressor. But after that, what we're gonna do is he now has to raise that gun six inches every shot group. So the next group will be 12 inches, then 18 inches, and 24, then 30. Now you can see where I'm getting at here. Now, uh, Coach has already shot his, uh, his first four groups. He's now up to 24 inches high. Now, when we run this drill, it's a great training drill, we add six inches every time. Now, we allow the, the students to use all their equipment. In this case, coach is shooting off of a Zero Delta tripod. Great tripod, very stable. Um, lots of other great tripods out there. Uh, we allow them to shoot off of tough boxes. We allow them to shoot off of tables, off of chairs. So if he wants to roll up his gun bag like this Air Armor Tech one uh, that inflates, you can actually inflate it to make it different uh, widths. So if you want to roll over the top of it, you make it bigger or smaller like a sleeping bag. Right? Like anything that sniper wants to do creatively to make himself more stable, I'm all about it. They're allowed to do it. What this does is it makes them think, okay, what can I use? What do I have available? All right? And they'll get better at using all their equipment. We're taking them out of their comfort zone of always being on the flat range, and now we're making them shoot at different heights. Now this drill's gonna take them all the way up to 66 inches, all right? Brother, that's way, way up there, all right? Now, so have him build his position. Once he's ready, then you just have him send that next five shot group, all right? Once he's done, He's done, he's shot all the different heights. Then what we'll do is we'll go down range and we're going to, uh, we'll go down to the pits where the target is. We'll pull it down and we'll be able to collect data so the sniper can then see how good he is at the different yard lines. All right, coach, why don't you go ahead and send me that next uh, five round group at, let me put my ear pro on. We're at 24 inches and then uh, we'll move on to 36 from there. All right, coach, you're hot. Send me five more. Now he's using all this gear to make himself as stable as he can. Notice he's using the sling of the gun to lock in and actually pull down the front of the gun. Coach has built himself a very stable position right here. You out? Was that five? That was five. That was five. All right, you know the deal. Add six inches, figure it out. I don't care. All right, guys, um, but that's the deal. Coach is now going to start building his uh, next position. All right, guys, so let's see how Kevin did. I'm going to pull it down so you guys can see this target a little bit better. Let me 
and slide it this way a little bit, just like that. All right, now remember I showed you the piece of paper, okay? Now, this is for him to keep in his data book, right? So, first one, confirm zero. Kevin confirmed zero on the target here, right? He's a little bit off the side, I can live with that. All right, so it confirms there, this rifle's dead on balls accurate. All right, 300 meter line. Guys, this is a one inch shot group. That's an awesome shooting gun right there. All right, now, the next, uh, next square, or next circle, next target is for its marked suppressor on the paper. Kevin doesn't have a suppressor uh, fitted to that rifle, so therefore we skip this one. The guys that have suppressors mounted on their guns, this would be the one that we would see if there was any shift between the two. Some suppressors, silencers, whatever you want to call them, will actually change your point of aim to point of impact. All right, next one was 12 inches off the ground. All right, again, great, great shot group. Again, he, he's used to getting a little bit higher, no problems. We'll go to the next one, 18 inches. He did awesome at 18 inches. He did awesome at 24 inches. Now, 30 inches, where's 30 inches at? Right about here. Shot group got wide, don't get me wrong, he knocked the pasty off the center of the target. These things just come right off, but he's got one, two, three, four, I guess he pulled one. All right, that's not bad, I can live with that. All right now, ah, what happens? He jumps over to 36 inches high. This is three feet off the ground, all right? And brother, he's damn near off the target at 300 meters, all right? Is, here are my shots. All right, I've got him at 42 inches, a little bit better. 48 inches. Again, he, he knocked the pasty. The pasty's still kind of there, All right? But you see his shot group's opened up. All right, 54 inches. You notice, now by gathering this data, All right, here he is, 54 inches. It's not a bad shot group, but he's off. He's definitely off, so maybe I, at that height, how he's moving, he's, he's, he's pulling something off to the side. He got back up to 60 inches, and he's back on the center of the target, right on the money, huh? That's right about where he is standing, right? Standing on that tall tripod, work, seemed to work good for Kevin. And then 66 inches, I, I wish I had, I should have got a photo of it. He was actually standing on two ammo cans. Um, using the same tripod. But if that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. All right, again, not a bad shot group. All right, now, what he would do is take a pen, log these shot groups, all right, and there's no more denying this target, all right? There's no more forgetting about this target. He's got a two-dimensional graphic representation of this target saying, hey, so now he can go back and say, look, from this loophole on this target where I'm shooting, maybe across the street, uh, pulling coverage on the bank, the hostage rescue, whatever it might be. If his loophole is uh, right here at 36 inches, he probably wouldn't want to shoot from there, all right? So how does he fix that? One, he could find a different position to shoot from, or now he knows Kevin needs to focus his training. His training, he's awesome up here. He's awesome laying in a prone. Most marksmen are awesome laying in a prone off that bipod. But fast forward, when he gets uh, 36 to uh, 54 inches, that is not his comfort zone at all. From right here to right here, Kevin's not a happy camper. Try to guess where Kevin needs to focus his training on the range, all right? So if you've got a day where you can't get out on that long range, uh, sniper range, all you can get is two, 300 meter range or even a 100 meter range. Get out and there's still drills you can do with your sniper rifle. Get out there and uh, learn where these shot groups put you. Gathering this data, that's what's going to make you a better marksman. That's what's going to make you a much better sniper. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything. If you like the shirt that we're wearing in the video, you can get it in our store.